and today's topic is uh, gas gangrene now gas gangrene is a potentially uh, deadly for form of the tissue death you know which is known as gangrene so it's more deadly and more uh, dangerous uh, form of gangrene you know you know the gas gangrene uh, is most often caused by bacteria called uh, clostridium uh, uh, perfringens and uh, uh, it also can be caused by a group of uh, streptococcus or uh, staphylococcus uh, aureus and uh, uh, vibrio uh, vulnifus so these are the uh, common bacteria uh, they can cause the gas gangrene now clostridium uh, is found nearly um, everywhere you know so as the bacteria grow inside the body it makes gas or harmful substances uh, known as a toxins you know and uh, these toxins can damage body tissues cells and blood vessels now the gas gangrene uh, develops uh, suddenly and uh, it's usually occur at the site of a trauma or recent surgical wound you know and uh, uh, in some cases uh, it occurs uh, without any um, uh, irritating effect you know or even you know and the people most uh, at risk of gas gangrene usually have the blood vessel disease uh, and diabetes or the colon cancer well, so these are the risk factors you know and uh, next is what are the symptoms of the gas gangrene now as it causes by a very painful swelling you know and uh, the skin turns pale to brownish red and uh, when the swollen area is pressed the gas can be felt as a, a crackly sensation you know like uh, um, crepitus, you know, and the edges of the infected area grow so quickly that the changes can be seen over minutes, you know, and the area may be completely destroyed. And uh, the symptoms include like uh, air under the skin, you know, or the blisters filled with the brown red fluid, or uh, drained from tissues, you know, and uh, increased heart rate, or uh, moderate to high fever or moderate to severe pain uh, around the uh, affected area you know and the pale skin color and uh, later it becomes uh, uh, dark red or purple you know and uh, swelling that worsens around the skin injury you know, and sweating and uh, like uh, yellow color of the skin you know like jaundice you know so these are the most common symptoms and uh, if the condition is not treated, the person can go into shock uh, 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 with uh, a decreased blood pressure, you know, known as the hypertension or the kidney failure or coma or uh, final death, you know. So this way, this is a very serious condition and it should be taken serious. And the next thing is how to diagnose uh, that uh, this is a gas gangrene, you know. Now your doctor will perform a physical examination and uh, which uh, where he may see some signs of uh, the shock you know and uh, if he suspects uh, further uh, order the further tests you know like uh, uh, tissue and fluid cultures you know and the blood culture to determine any bacteria infection and which bacteria is causing this infection you know or the gram stain uh, of fluid from the infected area and uh, imaging tests like x-rays or ct scan or mri of the area uh, and which may show the gas uh, in the tissue you know and now once you diagnosed uh, uh, the next thing is uh, what's the treatment plan you know and now the surgery is needed uh, quickly uh, uh, to remove the dead and the damaged and the infected tissue you know so this is the first step you know and the surgical removal is called the amputation um, for example the removal of the arm or the leg you know which is uh, really needed uh, in emergency uh, to s avoid the spread of the gangrene to uh, further you know and the amputation uh, sometimes uh, must be done before all the tests are available so you don't have to wait for the uh, test results you know so you, you sometimes you need to perform the amputation before the results come back so this is an emergency surgery 
Now the antibiotics are also given and these medications uh, are given through the veins, you know, so pain medications may also be prescribed. And in some cases, uh, uh, like uh, hyperbaric uh, oxygen treatment uh, may be uh, required, you know, so this is the oxygen treatment. Uh, now the gas gangrene usually begins suddenly and quickly it gets worse and uh, it's often deadly and if it's not treated uh, uh, as an emergency uh, it can be fatal and uh, now the next thing is what are the complications of the gas gangrene well the complications that may include uh, may result in poor like uh, a coma or uh, uh, disfiguring or disabling the permanent tissue damage you know and uh, joint us with the liver damage and kidney failure or shock or the spread of infection uh, through the body uh, through the blood you know uh, like uh, sepsis you know and uh, so yeah the, the, the stroke also these are the most uh, uh, common potential and death uh, these are the potential possible complications uh, well, the next thing is how to prevent this to happen. And uh, in fact, the clean and uh, you should clean any skin injury, you know, thoroughly. And uh, watch for signs of infection such as redness, or pain, or drainage, or swelling around the area, you know. And uh, see your doctor promptly. You know? uh, so this way you can prevent it to happen. And uh, you know, the other alternative you, uh, names used for the gas gangrene or the like uh, tissue infection. Uh, and uh, gangrene gas or uh, uh, myonecrosis, you know, and um, uh, uh, necrotizing soft tissue infection. So these are the other names used for the same medical condition. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you need more information about any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.